Holy cow, you guys. Holy cow, it's a special day. It's a special day. In fact, it should have been a special day about a month ago. But I got disconnected. Fell out of the loop. I was actually watching a compilation of uh, Japanese commercials and I saw a release, a release commercial for EDF and like... They do, they, they're civilized, so they do year, month, day with their, like, uh, with their formatting. And it splashed the date and I was like, eh, wait a minute, eh, I was sitting there. You know, the sounds of an old modem cranking in my brain, smoke coming out of my ears, and I was like, wait a minute, eight. Eight was last month. So yeah, I looked it up, and there's like one headline about it, about it shipping pretty good. I guess, who knows. But uh, the good news is, PS5s are not region locked, you just have to make a PSN account in the region and then find a way to buy currency with Japanese yen, which there are ways. But once you have it, you can play it, so let's play it, EDF 6! Here's the problem. Earth Def Sandlot is not known for, like, making the best user interfaces. They're not just masters of the menu, the video game menu. Um... And that gets way harder when these games are not in English. So let's see what happens. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking at this point, like, 5 was not that dissimilar to 4. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to figure it out. Is that my name? I'm doing my part. I'm about to do mine. There's a... Hold on a minute. I'm going to bust out my handy translation app. I'm pretty sure that's just a profile name, but I might as well get it all warmed up. Yeah, same UI as 5 so far. I honestly don't expect too many differences because there really weren't that many visible in the trailers. Let's see here. I'll be Captain America. No, that's... Hmm. Captain USA. I'm trying to think of, like, what the... What would the... <laughs> The EDF knockoff of Captain America be. Captain Japan? Japan doesn't have a captain, they have a referendum. Okay. Single co-op online. Mr. Cheeseburger? That's it, actually. Mr. Cheeseburg Sir. In 2022. Alright, let's see what let's see what we got here. A space pa a, s a guard fleet suddenly appears in the Earth's path, launched an attack on humanity. First strike was iconic, planned, and sad. Half of the military bases were destroyed in just one day. Humanity lost a great deal of strength. I thought this was gonna I thought this was gonna be like more voice acted. A visit from another planet. People called them primers. Desperate battle continues. It seemed that the human extinction was just a matter of time. Until... Special... Special Strike Storm Group shoots an enemy ship? The chaos of the f... Pr uh, the pr mm, came from a light bulb. So I blew up... Yeah, we blew up God at the end of EDF 5. Maybe that's what they're referring to here? Shooting God until he dies? Until it dies. Silence returned. After two years of fierce fighting, people... F something like... Planet, oh, the number of people is up to 10%. Civilization is before seizure. Nevertheless, the people paved the way to recovery. And then three years passed. Majority clock. Thank you for the sub. Oh, the EDF is gonna, gonna be deployed. I'm really, are they really like, previous EDF games have played around with having levels where it's like the beginning of the game is showing the invasion happening. Like, I think you're, you're, you're like, touring a base at the beginning of EDF-5 as, like, a civilian? Or wait, I might be mixing that up with, uh, Iron Rain. No, I think you're- no, Iron Rain is different. You're, like, part of a PMC in Iron Rain. I think in 5, right? You're, like, you're touring a facility as a civilian and then you just get swept into the military. But, like, there's a mission dedicated to the, the invasion happening. Uh, this is pretty clearly, I guess, after- after 5. Uh, in the canon. The cannon gets a little gets a little messy. Although no, wait, they refer to the events in, of Iron Rain. I guess World Brothers is the only kind of non-canon one, but it's also like all of them. That's definitely five. Iron Rain opens up at the very end of the first invasion. Ah, okay. Tiberium. Oh, Tiberium Matt. Thank you for the sub. Okay. Well, this is pretty straightforward. It looks like I'm a little 
I'm a ranger. Do I dare dive through these menus? I also can't tell. Let's just let's just hit buttons until I play a video game. I'm gonna go on hard. Should I? I'm gonna yeah, of course I should. Come on. Looks like it's got the same four classes. God fucking I love this shit! Oh no! I love blank text screens with like fade ins is so so dramatic, so epic. I have a wish, because we are our name is One of them is going to be singing, and I'm going to have to find that. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, okay, yeah, right. Um, it occurred to me that there could possibly be like a, a there wouldn't be a language setting, right? If it's only released in Japan, there's no way they just made that or just did that for no reason. Nah, there. I can safely assume that there's no, there's no language. I think. Um, what? It, it's worth checking. Yeah, the only thing I'm I'm curious about is if uh if there's volume settings because it seems like it's really low. Hmm. Okay. We're getting somewhere. That's that's more what I would expect. Okay. change it. Maybe you can't change that while it's in a mission. That's like the resolution setting. Oh, subtitle on. This music is really interesting. This already has a quite a bit more, f like EDF music usually usually plays it pretty straight laced. It's like all very theatric kind of 50s monster movie kind of sounds. It works. This is really, this is really kind of moody. What the heck? Oh, you can customize controls per per class. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I can try to go out to the main menu just to see what happens. Be curious about that resolution setting. I just want the, uh, I just want the the frame rate to be as high as possible. I am, uh, I'm very sad. You can change language settings in the main menu of five. A second from the bottom. Okay. Uh, again, if it's if it's just a Japanese region release, I'd be really surprised. Oh, that's restart. I'd be really really shocked if they uh, if they included global language settings, just for the heck of it. But who knows? Maybe they did. Okay. And this doesn't change. Maybe this is something they were like going to, maybe that's something they can like change later.
Yeah, okay, there's no extra settings out here. I think that's just it. No problem. It has English text. This game does? I mean, it does, yeah, sometimes. Done rooting around. It's time to shoot ants. Also, see the superb, superbly dramatic intro again. Look at how cool my dude looks already. Man. Hey. Have to, I think it was like uh, <laughs> I'm trying to it was like the fourth or fifth down where all the singing was. Go, go. This kind of reminds me of a uh, Reminds me of the uh, base in Perfect Dark. Also with the walking around following like, following people who are just walking really slowly. Hey Zach. Yeah, EDF6, it came out a month ago in Japan. It's not out in any other region yet. There's not even a release date for the regions yet, but you can buy Japanese games with a, with a PlayStation. You don't even have to wait for them to get imported. It's great. Why is this guy clean while you're all torn up? I don't know. So this is this is after Earth was almost decimated in EDF5. Things are still bad, I guess. It's, we're still raggedy out here. Yeah, but maybe he's a he's a pencil pusher bureaucrat. His voice makes him sound earnest and trustworthy though. It's going to be real fun playing this mission co-op where you have to walk around in a, sm a loop really slowly with four other idiots who are just yelling the whole time. <laughs> or three other idiots. Yeah, Bongo, Gun of Evolution is really fun. I was watching Bruce play, trying to pick up pointers and stuff. Yeah. Shugoshiro <laughs> I really hope they go for it with just like a number of like points. Tongue in cheek sort of cutscenes like this. Maybe I should be trying to translate this as it goes. This isn't the right way to experience the story, right? He's asking what people have been up to. And this guy says technical research. Oh my 
それ以前はトラックの運転手をもういいつまり貴様らは精鋭どころか兵士ですらない銃を撃ったことも撃たれたこともなく He's telling us that we're useless soldiers because we've never been in battle 守ることすらできない役立たずの臆病者それが貴様らだ <laughs> Some practice you'll get better. I will train you guys again thoroughly. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, yes, sir. The invaders are gone. The EDF will leave Earth. Or the EDF. Wait. What? Hold on. That went a little fast. Everyone wants a peaceful, non threatening life. It depends on us. Responsibility is heavy. See hell, you need to be prepared. Three years ago, civilization was on the brink of collapse. We maintain public order, engrave that mission in your heart. Protect the city, protect the people. Are you ready? <laughs> There's an, is there a whole mission where you just have to listen to a big speech? Maybe this is where the mission starts. Oh. Yeah, I don't remember other EDFs having subtitles. So that's pretty cool. What? What? Hey. Go, go, go. Hey. Hey. Walera wa hote ita i takibashi ikarada no otoko tachi. Omae kara da. Mae ni dero. Sa, yusa. Eh? Oh. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oops! We are too. It's music! If they lean into like the Thremen sound, that's so good. There was like, there were like little shades of that in EDF 5. The more it sounds like a B-movie, just like a real crap drive-in film, the better. If I just keep shooting? Oh, grenades. Alright. Hmm. There it is. This. Trademark EDF accuracy is back at it. Jeez. Ah. Oh. Yeah. There's damage numbers. Yeah. Look at that. It's becoming a professional game. Maybe they won't let me shoot the under, the underslung right now. Okay. Do you have a, a surprising amount of air control? Usually you when you jump you're just floating. So that's interesting. Huh. 
feels kind of weird. Like, it feels like what you'd expect it to feel like. You don't feel like an, uh, you know, like a... Oh, there we go. Let me dodge now. You don't feel like a Castlevania, like a Castlevania character or something? Oh, the sprint. Yeah. Guardians, you will become soldiers, guardians of humanity. Honorable work. This job comes with duties and responsibilities, though. Said there's a trespasser? Hmm, who could that be? Oh, I see some uh, some Gundam strats getting traded in chat. I like that. Didn't get any armor, didn't get any weapons. Tisk tisk. Okay. So yeah, maybe maybe that is just a full-on tutorial mission, which is why they have you go through the... Yeah, look at them. They're all running with guns, even the tech guy. Can't wait to see those frogs. It's like hammer mechs? Oh, yeah. The fencers. Fencers so OP once you learn how to play it. Okay, yeah, this is like EDF5 now. There's no way there's ants outside. No way. Although knowing EDF, it would actually not be ants. It'd be like a pizza delivery guy. That would then get eaten by ants. Oh, shit. I was so confident that something was going to happen. I wanted to get ready to translate. Instead, we got a nice reveal. This music! He's like... He's like in... Dissonant horns and stuff. Shouldn't have been so liberal with those rocket launchers, huh? Oh, you get the frogs right away? Oh, man. Oh, you can mantle? This game is becoming disturbingly civilized. Look at that. Just right over it. Zoop. What's the point of having, like, six-inch pebbles on the ground if they don't stop you when you're about to get eaten by an ant? What happened? God, oh God, the little bits are blowing off. You still alive? You are. Ah. Oh, Christ. Ugh, so meaty. Oh, I left all my guys behind. Sorry, fellas, I'm coming. Just got distracted by the shrieking frogs. Oh, you can hear them more now.
All right, just wanted to just some volume levels. Okay, there's still armor drops. I'm just leaning against the wall, just like fuck. Oh, it hurts. Squelchy. Looks awesome. Yeah, I'm. The, these games always do really well of recognizing scale, especially when they go to new platforms. So I'm curious to see what that looks like for this game. I'm just really taken by this the soundtrack so far. Wait, how can these invaders survive? The EDF literally found out they die from air pollution in 5. It would have to be some, like... That's the sort of thing that gets revealed in, like, mission chatter in the middle of one of the missions. Like, mission 48. It's like your... Your intelligence person just offhandedly mentions it. Who knows? Whatever lore nuggets we pick up on, we must treasure. Hey, what's up, Ansem? I can see- I can see making the frogs the first enemies, though. They're very satisfying to shoot. And I think it does- like, it informs- informs tone pretty quickly. Ugh. They're just so grimy. They're not as, like, happy-looking as the- The ones from five. Oh god, all of his bits broke off already. He's just standing there mad at me. Ugh. Oh yeah, I haven't even blown up any buildings yet. I gotta get get to that, see what the destruction looks like. It's a lot more colorful. Like, the skylines and the environments are pretty desaturated, but geez, the enemies themselves just turn iridescent as soon as you start shooting them. Which is weird, because they're kind of drab, uh, just normally. I'm not saying, like, emotionally drab, I mean just, like, actually all of drab. More of a muted color. Yeah, Gamer Fox. Six is out in Japan. It came out about a month ago. Oh, his little froggy stumps. Oh, no. I gotta do it, though. I gotta do it for Earth. Oh, yeah. There's, like, there's, like, rubble now? Huh. It didn't just, it didn't just sink into the ground like a full box. I've been kind of waiting for a destruction to, uh, to level up a bit. It seemed roughly the same in five. Like, it looked better, but it was still, like... So like buildings are giant rectangles that just sort of sink into the ground and go away once they're once they cross a certain threshold. I think it's I think it's good that some of the clutter goes away. Otherwise, there's just piles of stuff on the ground. It breaks into more pieces, more uneven pieces. It looks like that's pretty cool. He's just a stump. He's just a frog stump. Uh. Just let him suffer. I would, but he'll grow his stupid arms and legs back. Don't pity the Xenos. The Ravagers. The Marauders? I'm trying to remember what the last name for the aliens is that's not aliens. Beings from another dimension are attacking Earth. We don't know what to call them yet. Alright, the scientists have been thinking about it. We're gonna call them Ravagers. <laughs> it's because of their nature and the fact that they ravage the countryside. 
<laughs> oh, is that why? Okay, sure. I guess we're doing that now. Thanks, science department. <laughs> Bullets are whizzing past. <laughs> Aliens are vomiting acid on people. Soldier, we have an update. The scientists have updated the names. Large spider-like insects attacking Earth. We're gonna call them Grabnoids. <laughs> Look out, soldier! Grabnoids! <laughs> oh, EDF rules. <laughs> Alright. Stupid frogs. There's always this weird period, I guess, where you can, like, try to... Try to get in try to ambush them, I guess. Because they don't like their AI doesn't activate. Maybe they're trying to like drill in the aggro mechanics really early. Of like only pulling the enemies you need and trying to bite off smaller fights. Maybe. There were some missions like that in other EDFs that were that tried to drill into you how like AI works. Like drones are usually what they do. Squelch. Give me your goodies, frog. Yeah, Ansem. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I thought it would be it would make for a fun gameplay series. It's just got too ah, it's just got too many cool moments in it. They got little that one has like they have little armor armor pieces. I wonder if they're protecting something specific with that. I wonder if they have a weak point in there or something. Yeah, buildings are made of, of much more parts that all have irregular sizes and that makes the that makes the debris look way cooler. It also looks like they don't necessarily break into even pieces. And the AI was able to like crawl up in a regular surface, which is kind of impressive. These corpses still block bullets. Do they have to pick up their gun if they lose that arm? No. Their new arm comes with a gun. It just like shoots out of the stump with a gun on it already. At least that's how it used to work. Who knows? Cause yeah, I remember I remember being like, can you just shoot their arm off and not have to worry about them? Cause yeah, when the oh when the difficulty's higher, that would actually be great if you could just snipe their gun hands off. But no, they grow them back. Back up a little bit. Oh, I just blew up my own dudes big time. Ooh, that's a lot of frogs. Oh, heavens. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Music is so great. Heard that dude screaming a lot up there. I think they all died. Yeah. That means tech dude is gone. He had custom clothes and everything. 
Yeah, they are not on the minimap anymore. Okay. Time for some good old fashioned EDF then. Time to run backwards and pray. I don't know if this is health. But on top? Tight spot. Huh. Yeah, real... Alright. Hard may be too hard right off the top. If I had bull rushed some of those frogs and thinned them out, that might have helped. Okay, so yeah, if you fail, you get a portion of your armor. Hmm. Smoking Onion says you'll be in LA. In February next year for work, have a lot of days off. I will stay for a week after that. I want to shoot guns. Is there a good shooting range in LA or sh should I travel elsewhere? Uh, yeah, the only the only range I've been to in LA is indoor. I don't know that... LA is too dense of a city to have an outdoor range, I feel like. Yeah, Vegas is... is uh, is more free. If you wanna if you wanna do some wild stuff. Yeah, Vegas has a lot of gun stuff. A lot more gun tourism, I guess. But yeah, if you just wanna like fire rifles and handguns and stuff, you can do that in indoor ranges in LA. Oh yeah. Yes, Doctor, this is a live stream. Which, it's good to see you by the way. Hope life is good. Not Nick, I can not read Japanese. I can more spiritually understand it. If that makes sense. You know how you can be like other kin and stuff? I'm like Japanese reading kin. Yeah, Nader of Doom. EDF6 is out in Japan, it came out about a month ago? Three weeks ago? I'm actually behind. Uh, I did not... Did not remember that it had a, a Japanese region release date. Cosmic Slop. Thanks for the sub. scramble away. You probably want me to stay with my squad. I'm definitely being a bad teammate right now. Because, yeah, I wonder how much I'll be able to keep them alive. Because it was nice to be with NPCs in 5. They would absorb fire and do some damage, but at a certain, at a certain difficulty it was just on you. Jeez. The bolts are just sh like shoving me around. Is this support online co-op? Uh yeah. But I would I would really wait for it to come out in global territories. Cause I think for that you and somebody else would both need Japanese region PlayStation accounts, maybe? But yeah, it is an online co-op game. Doing good, a little better than good, probably. Alright. 
A little better than good is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it to come out in global regions as well. I'm excited for it to come out on PC. Like it's running well. Luckily it's I think it's like at 1080 right now. It looks a little grainy, but it's not bad. It's mostly just that the frame rate is above 30. You still alive? You're pulsating. Yeah, you're like breathing. Oh. All right. <sighs> NBC's revive after a wave. Oh. Okay. Cool. I wasn't paying attention. Well, then I don't have to keep a close an eye on them. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Bombed his ass out. Oh. Get him up there. Look at you up there. Yeah, frog cheeks just completely blown out. What? Froggy cheeks clapped. The plot of six that Earth lost in five? I mean, Earth pretty much lost over the course of you playing five, right? You got to, I guess you got to kill God at the end, but by then, I guess most of Earth had been decimated, so yeah. And shockingly, Killing God wasn't the end of it. Seen any new enemy types yet? Not really. I mean, I'm hoping there's going to be one or two. <sighs> Look at him breathing still. Ugh, just sitting there waiting. Yeah. Chroma Zeta, it's, it's some kind of godlike figure. Some kind of divine being definitely descends from a UFO and you shoot it until it's dead. At the end of five. That was a hell of a trip. Primers retreated after God died, but the Earth lost 90% of life. Yeah. There was a, some similar stat to that in the opening crawl. Humanity is 10% of its original original numbers. I love that Thremen in the, in the soundtrack. It fits so perfectly. Ooh -wee. So glorpy. Yeah, Nick, I'm excited too. I'm just here doing some preliminary scouting.
Thanks for reminding me. Oh, they're going. Oh yeah, we need that crazy sprite fall operator. Get some weird sexual thrill from firing lasers. Missed. Yeah, where's Sprightfall op at? I'm sure the wonderful cast of characters will build up over time. Right now we just have hard-ass old-school trainer. Ooh. Keep, keep thinking they're dead. Oh! Do you get wacky upgrades in this one? I certainly hope so. A language barrier may make it more difficult to tell what's meant to be wacky and what's not. But I'll figure it out. Chronologist, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you. Well, that his outfit has a muffler. For this outfit has a muffler. What my guy is wearing? Oh yeah, Morrissey. I'm confident. I'm confident that uh, just by virtue of picking random guns, I'm gonna find something, something horrific and unusable. I hate when they're just on the ground, just throbbing and vib vibrating like that. Just a wet, fat lump of frog. Ah! It's so glorpy. It's so slurpy glorpy. Yeah. Yeah, screams they re they regenerate their limbs. I think there's a couple that regenerate. Here. Watch this guy regenerate his gun arm. I wonder how long it takes. Just boink! Take a cover! Look at it! You lost your arm again, you idiot! Oh yeah, Duani, absolutely. It seems like everyone has a real good time playing EDF, so I don't think it'll be a hard sell getting the crew back together. But yeah, asking a bunch of people to play a bunch 
to buy a game in another region and then play a whole game in Japanese on a PS5, no less. That's a bit of a stretch. Plus, we gotta finish Monster Hunter? I'm excited for that. See more of the Icebreak stuff? There it is. Uh, uh. Oh, What's a gun? Yeah, so many guts. Aliens are like a hefty bag filled with chunky soup. Just pop, boosh, like a firecracker in there. Armor up. Is that like a duplicate gun? Or maybe it's a gun for another class. Let me see. Okay, yeah, it's giving me armor ups for all classes, it looks like, all four. Yeah, ranger, wing diver, air raider, fencer. All right, same old, same old setup. And then, yeah, fencers. Ah, all right. Oh yeah, it's got the star rating system too. Where like it keeps the best attributes of the drops you get. Alright. Yep. It's EDF, baby. Surprised we have no EDF themed emotes. Boy, that's a really good really good observation. I should change that. Need to get an EDF. Emote up in here. Is this like a perk or something? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Text and retrieve surrounding items? That's cool. What does backpack mean? Oh, this is the grenade. Okay. What else do we have here? Recruiter? Are these like things you, people you can summon? A balloon created by the EDF Public Relations. Oh, it's a decoy. Okay. Well, that's right. All right. Let's get the let's get the uh, the lore in here for this. A balloon created by the EDF Public Relations Department for the purpose of recruiting soldiers. A doll converted into a battle decoy. It was made to imitate the appearance of the idol contacted by the Public Relations Department. It was used to solicit young people at events. This balloon can be moved by finally adjusting the air pressure of each part. Equipped with function- or equipped with a function- or equi- ah, gosh, it keeps changing the, the, uh, the translation, sorry. Equipped with a function, built-in speakers, speaks is also possible. Excessive functions for a decoy. As a result, it is difficult for the enemy to understand that it is fake. It has the effect of doing, and it is an effective decoy. The content of what he speaks has been changed while still inviting recruits. Okay. Yes. A little inflatable... Inflatable anime. Oh, I can change my color. Change my scarf. There we go. Oh, that's right. Armor adjust. Why does it say broken? There might be lore. Okay. It's repaired with existing parts. The performance is declined significantly. Okay, so yeah. It's just like a rusty gun. Yeah, we already got inflatable anime girls. Okay, I'm gonna do it. It's probably a bad idea. Sniper, sniper rocket launcher. Oh, wait. That's right, that's what I wanna do. There we go. Well, 
Love how this class is just a dude with a rifle fighting against giant aliens. Pretty much. Is this the same mission? Whoa! Yeah, but I'm upset I can't take her with me. This isn't the same level, is it? No? It sounds like the frogs are talking. Yeah, cyborg lizards. You remember the cyborg frogs? Yes, they come from another world to let us know it is Wednesday. I can still hear her singing. It's like a whole concert. What's going on? I mean, it's working. I want to. I want to join the EDF now. Wow. I'll protect you from all the frogs. I feel like this decoy is too good because the EDF is going to try their hardest to defend it instead of using it like an actual decoy. The name was, uh, on the equipment of the, the pop idol. Apparently some people recognized, recognized them? Ayame? She's from Hollow Stars. Oh, okay. This is a real live celebrity integration. Well, maybe not live. Okay, good. Decoys, decoys recharging. They got a hollow live idol for their decoy. Yeah, it used to just be like a just a random anime, I think. Or since I didn't recognize that as a hollow live idol, maybe it was some other kind of idol. Uh, hello, Jacob, and hello, Jacob Raiders, Jacobins. How you doing? 
Let me greet you with a little singing. I'm gonna blow up some frogs. Oh, they're somehow even worse than they used to be. Even more pathetic. I hate it when they fall down like that, because it's like you're looking directly up their up their asshole. And they're just like looking down at you. Ugh. Anyway, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing today? I'm scoping out the next EDF. When is it released in the US? There's no date yet, unfortunately. I think 2023 is all they've said. I got a sore throat? Ah, I hate that. It's like every time you swallow, it hurts, but then that just makes you want to swallow more. Okay, that's not frogs. Look at all those, look at all those readings. I'm getting contacts all over my, my display. The time for ants. It's time for ants. Bold choice, not making ants first. Just finished Edge Runners for the first time. Nice. I still haven't finished it. I got about halfway through. I still really like it, but. All right, I'm gonna aggro everybody. I'm glad it's uh, it seems to have kicked off the Cyberpunk Redemption Tour. I'm glad it landed. Anime's doing good work as usual. hitboxes anymore. I've missed some shots that a normal EDF would count as hits just because there's usually a giant hitbox around every ant. This fucking... Ah. If that's part of the tech for the upgrade. Maybe it's not all hitbox based now. Or maybe the. Yeah, maybe it's just. You actually hit the model. Are there other methods to registering hits besides hitboxes? Yeah. You can just make it so if, like, the, hit, the shot actually hits the model. Those intersections are a little harder to determine, though. Usually a little more costly in terms of uh, processing and performance. The math to determine if something is intersecting with a box is nice and simple. Yeah, they could have just more accurate hitboxes. Or the hitbox is just the model. Could be, could be. Someone's scared. I think. You're not gonna believe this, but there's more ants. Most accurate hitboxes I know are in Soulsborne games. Now there's that. Tekken can be pretty accurate, I feel like. I'm trying to think about, like, games where the hitboxes are accurate and it also matters a lot. Like, it went between them. That was pretty bananas. I 
Yeah, it seems like you have to actually shoot them now. You have to actually hit them with bullets. It seems like there's scripted story, story elements to, like, aggroing them early. The NPCs seem to react to that. I'm wondering if they try to, like, impress upon you the value in taking up good defensive position before aggravating all the... all the ants. Oh yeah, War Thunder? Yeah, that's true. I've seen some pretty outrageous gifts from War Thunder. Of like, plain deformation and stuff. Morale's never been higher. <laughs> they fucking cheered. like arched his back up and the bullet miss. get all worked up whenever the YouTubers are in town. The ESO... ESO VTuber Tour. The boys' spirits have never been higher. Although I guess, if we're being honest, there is a, there is a pretty long artistic legacy of pop idols singing to empower the warriors of the future. I gotta watch Macross again. Such a weird trip. <laughs> I'd die for her. <laughs> Oop. I may have knocked a building onto my homies. Sorry about that. I guess that would be an interesting uh, progression for EDF. Knocking buildings onto things and having that be like a mechanic. I do really like the like the buildings knocked over and at odd angles and stuff. It really does make the game look a lot less uh, templated, which was fine. You know, like it's not like anyone was complaining. I don't think it was pretty clear that it was a, a video game, but it does look a lot cooler with all, the, with all these like half destroyed buildings kind of leaning on their sides, AI pathing able to like crawl over all these uneven surfaces. It does seem like you can't really destroy a building in pieces though, still. Like once it once it takes damage it just collapses. The debris still looks the debris looks better. I was hoping you'd you could like blow chunks out of a building. Like Swiss cheese it. That'd be pretty slick. What if you had like a railgun that just like blew a core through a ton of buildings 
Oh, that'd be sick. And you could just like line up and see like all the way down. <gasps> yeah, maybe EDF-8. I am totally okay with this series largely being the same. Give me the like smallest, most incremental, hardest to understand. Oh no! Uh. Oh, she's helping. You're being so brave. Actually, just ran out. Whoa. I almost shot my own guys. That would never happen in EDF. <laughs> so happy how can you not throw that out whenever you want or whenever you can seeing the positive effect it has on all the fellas does the waifu boost soldiers effectiveness i don't think so maybe maybe what is the waifu it's technically a decoy the lore of it is that the earth defense force pr department Made the inflatables to help with recruiting. So, you know, they go to a mall and set up the... Set up the inflatable, but... Uh... It has found another use in the war. Distracting the... The Ravagers. Oh. New weapons, alright. I got a new rifle. Okay, I'm gonna go rifle and MLRS. Or MLRA. I think that requires air targets. So there's a couple of different waifus I can equip here. Yeah. I am a uh, Hyaki Shiragumi and o Okami. Mi Okami? Oh. Mitsu Okami? We'll just go down the list. Oh, it's literally all Hollow Live article. Or idols, excuse me. Yeah, it's bait for the aliens. Mm hmm. And you can hear it going. It's bait for the weebs as well. That's true. Working. Oh, it's one of these guns. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Of course. Of course it is. Just 
<laughs> didn't put the barrel on this one. Anyway, have at it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Sawed off AK. <laughs> Ready for the most hard weapon you've ever seen? There we go. Gotta put your thumb over it to give it a little pressure. Yeah, you know, just pinch it off a little bit. This is a lock on the ground tower. Oh, can! Great. Fantastic. Ooh, this should be fun. What is the lore now for the current timeline of EDF? Um, I guess this is this is after five, where humanity pushed off the invasion again, but is at ten percent of its popu world population, so the Earth is pretty much destroyed. It's three. It's five years after that, I think, because the recap was like two years after, and then three, or maybe it's just three. Uh, more than that, I don't know, because uh, I haven't been able to translate a lot of the dialogue. I'm too busy playing to hold up a phone. Ah! Yeah, screams. A lot of the lock-on rockets in the past, you had to kind of aim up because they would just shoot straight out, hit something in front of you. Or if you were running forward, you would just run into the missile and detonate as soon as you shot it. such specific memories of playing each EDF. I remember I played EDF 2017 or EDF 3 after I got my wisdom teeth out. A friend picked me up from the dentist's office and drove me home and then we played EDF and I was like passing out on the couch. As the effects of those sweet sweet drugs were off okay, being anesthetized won't keep me from my duties to defend Earth. God, these do so little duty, or so, so little duty, so little damage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap it up to the spray. I can get in here and mix it up a little bit. Oh, there's a dispenser. Forgot that that's what they look like.
Look at the damage going up. Yeah, seeing that number pile up is pretty nice. I imagine with the game, way this game escalates too, by the time you're playing on Inferno, that'll be like 10, 20, 30,000. Who knows, but... Yeah. Damage numbers. An EDF first. It's not quite a life bar, but uh, it's something, I guess. It's feedback that you are hurting something, which might be the uh, most important thing. It's an interesting technique to put them in the corner like that instead of floating over the enemy you're shooting at. I feel like that's the big technique, or has been so far in video games, to just have floating numbers flying out of everything. I kind of prefer this. I don't mind this. It makes the damage numbers more of a more of a mechanical utility and less of just like a serotonin pumping uh, gimmick that kind of wears off after a while. That's also true, Deonyx. Yeah, an EDF, a floating number, would be lost immediately. Yeah, if you shoot like AOE and you hit like 20 targets. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe they experimented with that and it was just too hectic. I like my little scarf. Hold, brothers, hold! I bring anime. Oh, maybe I don't. On a cooldown? Does it have to be destroyed? That's weird. I thought it just timed out before. Imagine doing this on hard right from the start. Yeah, maybe she's still back there singing. Maybe her performance is longer. Maybe she's just a uh, more giving, harder working, harder working Vocaloid. Ah. Oh, VTubers are not Vocaloids. No, those are separate. Although it seems like there's a lot of crossover sometimes. Oh boy, more ants. All right. Seeing they dance, they game. Yeah, I guess it's the gaming aspect that makes it a little different. Okay, now the now the refresh is here. Yes. Ants? You mean monsters, right? Yeah, sorry. I meant monsters. These are not ants. They've been named by scientists. Oh, Cinder. Yeah, I don't stream at 1080p because I don't think Twitch's bitrate is good enough to justify 1080p. If I were playing like a slow moving text based game or something without a lot of motion, then then it, it would be fine. But I tend to play a lot of fast paced shooters. And uh, I did a couple of tests and I found that for the hardware I have and the encoding settings I use, 900p was a better sweet spot for image quality and motion. Never drop frames. Although, I don't know. 
I feel like I can give my uh, I can give my encoder a lot of overhead, but even still, it'll still just drop a frame or two. So I'm just get lost in the ether, lost in the tunnels. Yeah, not many people have 4K screens or watch the stream in full screen. Yeah. Oh, shit! Where did you come from? That was fast. Ah! Oh! Already? Like, mission four? Okay, yeah, they're, they're already, like, really going crazy with the numbers and the scale of these fights. Usually, it takes like 10 missions to warm up to something like this. Ugh. Ah. I'm gonna run back towards this thing. Oh, Max showed up. Truck mechs. Wait, does this mean like one person can drive and the other person can shoot? That'd be sick. Oh, she fell over! Or maybe she just landed on the corner. Oh boy, this is like an interesting level to have early on, because it just does tons and tons of item drops. You could farm weapons pretty early here. Maybe feel like skip up to another difficulty? the AK with the barrel? Oh. I don't know if they're ready to give me the good stuff yet. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Lots of new guns, lots of upgrades. I'm like 20 new decoys. That's at least 20 more levels I gotta play then. Alright, we'll go with this one now. Ooh, that looks like a cool shotgun. Or, sorry, sniper rifle. Flamethrower? Inferno gas. Hmm. Oh yeah, Miles, I'm just... I do not speak Japanese or cannot read it. I'm just, uh... It's pretty easy to figure out based on other games, yeah. I think that's repair, probably. Why is this description so short? Flamethrower. And then the description just says flamethrower with a period. <laughs> yeah, sprays nano machines. Okay, this is a welder. Flamethrower. Okay, yeah, got my Got my new idol equipped. Let's go. Kaibutsu 
This is Mio. Yeah, everybody's everybody's burning. Burning with passion. Shoot it. Yeah, they make little ouchy sounds. Oh no. Her clothes get burned off. Come on. <sighs> this just makes it a more effective decoy device, that's all. That's all. That's all that means. Not weird. Uh oh. Hmm. What's gonna pop out of this thing? Spider? Oh, okay, ant egg. Ugh. Would this be one of the rare good video game flamethrowers? Let's find out. Flamethrower. version of EDF more fun than the pixel one I saw you playing a while ago. Hmm. I don't know if I'm ready to say it's more fun. It's definitely maybe more of a complicated and nuanced gaming experience, which is kind of down the, the realm of what I like. But I'm, I've also just started it, and it's also in Japanese. I think if you liked World Brothers, the pixely one, you would definitely like uh, one from the mainline series. An EDF game, that is. I'm pretty good at FPS games. I've never played something like this. Would it be hard for someone like me to learn to play it? Um, if you're skilled at FPS games, hitting the buttons and playing the game is not going to be a problem. I think the, the, bigger, the bigger point of adjustment will be figuring out how to play this game specifically. But that's going to be true of anyone that tries to play this game for the first time. Um, but the good news is you don't have to like be, you don't have to understand all of the complexities of it to just have fun with it. If you just play it on normal, that stuff doesn't matter. And if you feel like playing on a harder difficulty where that stuff does start to matter, then you're already in the spirit of like wanting to learn that stuff if you want to bite that off. But just playing through it on like normal difficulty with friends and co-op or even alone co-op. This is a, always just a really good time. I kind of think about it and it's like, it's like where the Omega Force games were kind of going and then didn't. Uh, the Dynasty Warriors games. They just kind of kept making the same game. Even like for the last 10 years. So this is kind of a scaled up version of just a big action RPG kind of experience. Alright, it's a little hard to hit with the flamethrower. Oh man, speaking of just core shooters, I started playing Proteus yesterday. That game fucking rocks. I remember playing it in early access and it's it's fairly different now. It's like I can recognize it as the same game, but there's so much built on top of it. Ugh. The music is so good. I feel like Dynasty Warrior games got worse. They didn't get very much better. I feel like they stayed about the same. And then they kind of got worse just by by default. That's how it feels to me. But it's weird too because Omega Force keeps securing really big properties, and they just make the exact same game every time. Persona Five Strikers was quite a bit different. I I liked that a lot. 
This is the first time an Omega Force game, like, had something else going on in it. But, uh, that was also, like, co-developed with Atlas, so I figured that's where that part of the game came from. Ultra Kill took that Dusk style boomer shooter to another level. It's really special. I really gotta play it. I gotta play Ultra Kill. I played it a little bit. Um, the, I played, tried, tried, yeah, I tried playing the demo when it had a demo, and it just ran really weird for me, and I couldn't really get into it, but I'm sure it runs well now. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole clutch of really good boomer shooters I gotta, I gotta get through. I haven't finished Dusk. I think there's new content in a medieval. There's like Ion Fury that I never finished. Was it, uh, Project Warlock 1 and 2? I started playing Project Warlock 1. It's pretty fun. Chasm is coming out soon. Pro Postal brain damaged. Is that any good? Oh yeah, I gotta finish Turbo Overkill's early access. Oh, this is a new. Oh, it's this guy. Okay, thought it was a new queen. I wonder if this works out like this. If they have this little arrow, if I can recruit them. Yeah, Turbo Overkill was rad. I had a lot of fun with that. Ooh, careful now. Okay, yeah. Jeez. Scramble up there. Yeah, everything's so juicy. If I'm if you're using explosives, the uh the frogs blow up into tons of chunks. Yeah, the decals seem to be a big thing in this game. Hit decals on enemies and on, on like Blood spray on the ground. Just splatoon levels of goop getting everywhere. Yeah, air raiders in this. It's the same four classes from five. Ranger, wing diver, air raider, and fencer. Let's see if I can catch back up with that fire truck. Where'd that thing go? I don't see it on the minimap anymore. Maybe it blew up. Ow! Yeah, I've only played Ranger so far. Just keeping it basic, keeping it vanilla. I'll probably switch to Wing Diver for the next mission. The F5 was so weird about the frog aliens. They never used the word frog. And they kept saying they look like humans. Yeah, people in the EDF universe have weird takes on things. Part of the humor, I think. I can't tell if it's like lost in translation or intentionally lost in translation. But it's great. People in EDF verse are the most confusing. Yeah, there do, there do seem to be some nice quality of life upgrades in this game so far. 
uh, your little dude can, like, mantle over stuff. You don't get caught on ground geometry nearly as much. There's damage numbers. You can still sing. Yeah, you can burn. You can burn the clothes off the hollow life decoy. Man, how long do you think it took the developers to do that? Who stayed who stayed late in the office? Three months? <laughs> they promised that the technology would be really important for the engine to have because they could use it in all sorts of things. And then they didn't use it for anything <laughs> but burning the clothes off the hollow life. Lady. This is pretty cool. This is like a really detailed storefront. Or just a random building you're gonna run past. I mean, I'm sure they use it multiple times, but... Yeah, the fidelity on the buildings went way up. Oh, there's like a whole, like, store... Wow, look at this! Signs you can read? This is current gen tech. I remember in Like a Dragon... When I was like walking down the street and I just walked into a convenience store and the camera just followed me in and you could walk right up to the shelves and like see everything on them and read it, read all the packaging. That was super cool. Like, oh, technology. This is the interactive fiction that Shenmue promised us. Readable text on stuff was a bigger leap in tech than anyone really noticed. It's kind of the <clears throat> the final embracing that everyone has at least a 1080p display. What is the minimum resolution for this current generation consoles? Can they even do 720? Shit, move four on the dragon engine. Ugh. Ugh. What if the way to, to finish the Shenmue Octilogy is to have it merge with Like a Dragon? I think Radio would get along fantastically with the cast of, of Yakuza. He's got Kiryu Kazama energy. And he can just like get hit by a car and be fine. Isn't Shenmue set in the early 80s? So was Yakuza 0. It's fine. Could have salt and pepper Ryo Hazuki. Punish trio. Yeah, flamethrower actually worked out pretty well. A rare instance where you accidentally choose the exact right weapon for an EDF level the first time. Oh, close fell off. 
Who did that? Ah, oh, they seem to all be having a good time. I shouldn't be hating. Imagine if they weren't gross frogs, but cute anime girls. EDF would be screwed. They'd have to invent some kind of, like, helmet that changes how they look to all the soldiers. Because, yeah, that would be a big problem. These guys gotta know what they're fighting for. I didn't sign up to point a gun at no waifu. Oh, maybe they already did? That reminds me, I gotta play that sweet video game Haze. Free Radical, the game that killed Free Radical. Although they're kind of back now, right? Isn't Free Radical basically back? I'm pretty sure they announced something new, like under the Free Radical name and everything. Hey, Zidonia, how you doing? way up this parking garage. Just played a few hours of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. What did you think? Steph was playing it a little bit yesterday. It looked like Modern Warfare. You know, I don't know. Not very profound, but at this point, not only have we had multiple Modern Warfares, but this is, we've had multiple Modern Warfare 2s. So, well, you know, that reminds me, I do gotta, I, I gotta polish off the um, Modern Warfare 1 campaign before the sequel comes out. Never finished it. Maybe that'd be a good thing to do this week. Knock out the Modern Warfare campaign? I'm gonna finish up, uh, I'm gonna finish up Ace Combat, I'm gonna finish up Republic Commando, I'm gonna finish up New Vegas. Those are my goals for this week. Oh, man. I have very specific gripes about it. Like the view model is too close to the center of the screen such that it can get in the way of the hip fire reticle. The reticle uh, also has some inertia and will keep moving in it even after you stop moving your mouse, which is very frustrating. I like the game in general, though. Always been a COD guy. Okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty clear you have some, you have, you know, like very specific knowledge about, about the game elements. All right, broken rifle, slightly better now. And some I cannot read Japanese, despite being spiritually Japanese. Part of being uh, an amazing gamer means that I have an instinctual understanding of Japanese, but no, I cannot read it. I cannot technically read it the way that most people would define that word. That rocket launcher is so fun though. Got some new grenade launchers? This one looks serious. Oh, 
Do grenade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Zoloff is correct. I can feel the Japanese and intuit the meaning. I trace my hands over it uh, mentally, the mental tracing, and then from there I, I, in the the feeling of the years, the millennia of culture flow through me. Um, and that's how I come to my understandings. Yeah, I just feel it exuding off of it. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go use the restroom. I'll be right back. I return in bassoonist. Thank you very much for the raid. <sighs> Thank you very, very much. Welcome, everybody. I'm getting a lot of raid messages in chat. Delightful. How's everybody doing? Ooh. Yeah, these are like different engine or different like energy cores or whatever I think you can equip. be wing diver now <laughs> yeah the wing divers have clothes on now yeah they're not wearing battle bikinis yeah i'm actually wearing pants weird Oop. You can't make it stop! Yeah, it's it's a welcome change. I feel like I'll I'll give EDF a lot of a lot of uh benefit of the doubt. Because it is it is like its roots are in camp. But yeah, come on now. And if we're gonna do that, you might as well let the let the fellas run around in underwear. Iron Rain lets you do that, so you know it's all fair. Took the destruction of humanity to give wing divers pants. I guess I just drop it wherever I am. Huh. Oh shit. Fuck. I forgot I was on this weapon. It'll probably be fine. rocks nice yeah, the wing divers always holler pretty loud Very determined sing. Huh? People saying F's?
I'll just wait on it. You know what was extra odd there? I just noticed that OBS said it wasn't streaming. OBS was just like, nah, I'm not streaming. Why do you think I'm streaming? So I just hit start streaming again. Uh, that's weird. I guess there was just a ripple in there that made it disconnect. Anyway, I'm back. Hello, everybody. Sorry about that. Some people were saying in chat that, that it happened to Bruce earlier. That's interesting. I noticed uh, another streamer I watched last night had like a stream interruption that, that made no sense. And they were like, yeah, nothing, nothing looks weird on my end. I wonder, I wondered what's going to happen if Twitch like starts trying to cut it, cut their, uh, their network costs down trying to recoup costs by cutting their margins a little closer in terms of their, like, bandwidth? Because that's the part they're not just not going to tell anyone about. They'll just do it. Because they'll think it'll be invisible. Or if anyone does see something like that, they'll just write it off. You and Twitch have to go 50-50 on network costs? That would be interesting. What if Twitch actually, like, instead of just doing, like, a a more uh, subdued partnership sort of arrangement, what if they actually did, like, invoice streamers? They just passed the costs on. Let me see if I can get a full clip. I gotta wait for it to recharge, though. All right. I would put weird pressure on streamers to avoid non-revenue generating viewers though. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. It would. If somebody pays enough money, maybe they can get away with some business, but if you if if they look up your history and you've never cheered or subbed and and you just say something a little off, they just ban your ass cuz like why? You're just costing them money? That'd be sick. I mean not not from any kind of like viewer or streamer perspective. Just in the dystopian cyberpunk kind of way. But theoretically, even viewers who don't uh, don't put money into the system are still valuable because they can be advertised to. I'm speaking in the most like business sense here. This is not how I feel as a human or even as a streamer. I'm just thinking of it in terms of the math. Um, and and the value of streamers and viewers to Twitch as a business. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. I don't mean cool, cool. Full sociopath view. I like thinking that way because that's where business always goes. Always. Always. Like, businesses being run humanely is only... is only a privilege of having a lot of money. I've seen so many companies have, like, feelings and ethics that just... just get fucking erased the second the money starts to dry up. Just like they were never there in the first place. Like, the second it ever becomes hard, they just disappear, so... Whatever Twitch says about... community, or love, or peace, or whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, if, if they're squeezing money, that's what it's gonna come down to, is the math of it. And they're gonna... They're gonna talk about... viewers and streamers as assets and liabilities. We talked about it in some board meeting, passing the bandwidth costs to streamers or viewers. I'm surprised that, that Twitch does not offer 
to let you pay them to have a higher bandwidth cap. Within reason. But like, I'm surprised Twitch doesn't offer some kind of like bandwidth plus where you can pay them like $100 a month to stream at double the bitrate or something like that. Or however much. I think that would that would definitely create an atmosphere where like people would accuse Twitch of like helping the rich get richer, I'm sure, because if your stream just looks better, you're more likely to retain viewers theoretically. So like viewers that already have an audience and have money to spend can't afford to have a better looking stream. But then again, that's kind of been the case everywhere. If your show has a bigger budget, it'll look better. Trying to play a bunch of pixel art games on stream then? <laughs> yeah. Buy the bandwidth package and then just play uh play retro games. But I mean that's like That's the thing. There's there's plenty of uh plenty of content on Twitch that six megabit is enough when it comes to retro games. DLSS3 the stream. Yeah, why can't it do that? I wonder if that's the future of video compression. Is gonna be like AI uprising on the on the client side. You just send it four pixels and it uses AI to interpret the rest of the frame. That would that would be interesting because then the more you like watch something, the more it would deviate away from its source material. Potentially. Or as the AI gets better, it would change. Probably imperceptibly, but it would change. These thoughts and more are soon to be brought to you by this weed soda that I'm about to drink. I feel like I don't I don't want necessarily want to get high on stream all the time, but I feel like Earth Defense Force, right? I mean, am I right? I feel like I'm right. This is a dank video game. Uh so it deserves to be paired. Yeah. Yeah, California is a is a wonderful place. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Nice. Nice. Yeah, this is, uh, what is this? Blackberry Lemon. How bougie is that? It's so dank you understand the Japanese. to get dank for that. I just have to wake up, perform my tea ceremony, and then practice my katana stances in front of my giant bay windows while the ocean breeze rolls in. It blows up my night robe. Guess what? I'm ripped. <laughs> I have abs. Oh shit. That's the other thing I was going to play today. I was like, man, this is great. Big ass day to play EDF, who cares? <gasps> UFOs? What is that? Where? I see it. I see him. Oh, shit. Wasps? Bees? We already got bees? Oh, no, I'm a wing diver! <sighs> the draw distance is still pretty close. Uh, PS5 and all. I, I guess this is a cross gen release. Oh golly, it's the bees. I'm gonna have to, let me start charging my rifle. They do animate a lot more naturally. They look better in a big swarm like that. God damn bees! Oh yeah, they shoot these giant s stinger spikes. Huh? Why did my backpack overheat? That was weird.
Awesome. So excited to see these bees. Also, yeah, Robert, this game is uh, escalating pretty quickly. Levels have all been pretty long. For like, for beginning of EDF standards, usually it's like fight two clumps of ants and then you're done. Some walking, that generally yells about ants, ravagers, whatever they call them, monsters. But yeah, these have all had like multiple spawns of pretty large enemy groups, and it's only like, I think I'm on the sixth level? So yes, very excited to see when and how this game escalates. There have already been pretty big swarms of enemies too, and a queen ant, no less. Oh, so Glorpy. Alright, this is maybe a time when having 1080p would be advantageous. You could see all the little scoops and scorps of the Gloopy Glorps. Have they given individual classes their own story arc, or is it all you're just in a generic army clone? Yeah, I don't remember there being any story elements tied to which class you play. That's all pretty thoroughly in the, like, video game mechanic side of things. Um... The twist, I guess the, the benefit there is that it makes 100%ing these games a ridiculous prospect. To play through every level on the hardest difficulty with every class is a lot. Uh, but yeah, story-wise, they don't they don't seem to pursue it all that much. I think that's fine. I'm kind of okay with this game's story just being screams in the background and like incoherent babble from scientists and stuff. Yeah, same four classes. Mm-hmm. experimenting a little with the wing diver right now okay shield oh okay i was holding a sh i was wearing a shield that's why uh blink ball alpha ah Yeah, level seven. Can you show what the other classes look like? Sure. Air Raider. Fencer. Pretty similar, actually. This is the dashing roll thing for wing divers in six. Dashing slash roll thing. What, uh... Not quite sure what that might refer to. You tell me what buttons to hit, I'll hit them and we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh. oh, we got wasp nest now? Oh, shit. All right, I'm going to go in for it. Yeah, that drink got some bones. Scratched me up a little bit. Ah. Ah. 
darn. I had to get these guys. This is up there for goopiest game I've seen. There's a lot of goop, isn't there? Yeah. Enemies are always exploding with goop. Oh no. Oh no, that was not the gun I thought it was. Uh Okay. Kind of exhausting chasing these guys down. And yeah, a ranged, ranged gun would have been great. Do we still get split screen? Oof, I don't know. That is how I played 2017, though. In the last games I think I played co or played split screen. Oof. Time for stealth infiltration. Ah! I clicked the left stick. SK. So yeah, still got a dash. Okay, wow. It accelerates you very quickly. Forgot about that. so great oh okay just wanted to run in there and take care of all the all the nests Oh, this is going to take a while. Oh, no! Oh, no. He was doing such a good job, too. Man, war as hell. <laughs> Dracoon! Uh. I'm starting to see the frame rate drop a little bit now, which is interesting. It's still an EDF game on console. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, scrummy, no, not region locked. PlayStation games haven't been region locked in a while. The only uh, tricky part is you need a P Japanese PlayStation uh, account. You need a, sorry, Japanese PSN account. And then you have to fund that account with Japanese yen somehow. So you can't just use a US credit card to buy a game. But yeah, if you, uh, if you sign up for a Japanese account and then you load it with a uh, Japanese uh, like PSN card, then you can buy digital games on the Japanese store. I did that for... I can't remember what game I did that for before, because I had some yen still on my on my profile. 
That might have been EDF. So many bees. It's my sworn duty, my sacred oath to murder them all. Oh, there's a lot of bees. Ooh, a lot of bees. Actually, hornets. I guess that's an, an important distinction because bees are cute. Bees are cute, and I'm actually kind of on bees' side most of the time. I don't want to believe that they'd betray the human race like this, even if they could be very large. Being large is a good payoff for something, but. I still like to believe the bees would just be happy to be bees still. Seems like a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool setup, you know? Giving up the ghost? You're watching in 160p, huh? How's that working out? I tried doing a, uh, an ultra low bitrate garbage stream a while ago, and it was just, like, novelty notwithstanding. I just, it just wasn't very fun to look at. It was just random colors and random colors and smudges. I was hoping it would be psychedelic, but instead it was just kind of annoying. I think if it were just pixelated, that would be fine. But like trying to blur and smooth a crappy image across a whole screen. Nah. Yeah, on the Steam Deck, yeah. Trying to, uh, trying to stream on hotel internet. Oh, Crash Poke. With a VIP or BAM. Intense. Let's see what happens. Will it be VIP or a new Banny? Oh no. Oh. Tragic. I hate it. Uh Gosh, Crash Poke, I'm so sorry. You've watched this stream so much. You have done it so much, and yet now I'm going to ban you now. And it hurts me so much. Oh, I hate it. It hurts me so to ban you now, but you're banned for an hour. Oh, I used the time. I used the uh, I used the command wrong. You're not actually banned yet. Hold on. I did it wrong. One second. Gotta. I gotta. Hold on. There. Okay, now you're banned. All right. Uh, what happened? I'm so confused. Sorry, left hand. Uh, every Twitch channel has the ability to anoint certain members VIPs. It doesn't do anything. Actually, I guess it does a couple of things, but it, it just gives you a little diamond next to your name. And there's only so many VIP slots per channel. Uh, I have a gimmick to get VIP in this channel. The only way to do it. You have to redeem a ridiculous amount of channel points for an 80-20 shot at either being banned for an hour or getting VIP status. 
Yeah, it's it stops you from slow in emote only mode. And I think that, yeah, I think that's it now. It used to be more, I think, but... Twitch said no. Twitch has been saying that lately. And saying no a lot. Uh, while I'm here, there's a lot of people who subbed that I did not think properly. Jade and Hellion Live. Thank you both very much. I was far too in the game zone. That's that's my uh, that's my failing, and I apologize. Yeah, I'm gonna play the next level. Although I'm gonna try a different class. And these are like limpets, usually. It's the same thing. This stuff is. And then a vehicle. The bomber. Limpet gun, yeah. Laser guidance device. Gunship artillery, okay. Robot bomb. Okay. Bat crawler. I have to be a higher level to, to equip some of the other mechs. Hot green. Baked as fuck, and this music is giving me Pink Floyd vibes. The music is really, really interesting. I'm, I'm really fascinated by the music. Okay, yeah, Olympic Gun works the same way. Red ants already? Oh. There we go. What the? Okay. Ugh. Did just go up the building? Yes. Nice to see the visuals have been improved since EDF5. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some things that are improvements. Um... The buildings look way cooler now. I think they destroy better. The fidelity of the individual buildings is higher. The monsters are goopier. But yeah, it still looks like a it still looks like a PS4 game. That's okay. That's EDF, baby. We come for the intellectual stimulation. These don't seem as bad as red ants usually are. Just 
just excessively goopy bugs. And bugs are scaring you? Yeah, some people have that reaction to this game. I mean, there are there are giant spiders and huge ants and just all sorts of terrible things. Hey, Austin. Yeah, this is this is Air Raider. Came with a spider tank. There's another vehicle that I'm not high enough level to, to call in. I'm excited to see. Oh man, this dialogue has the potential to be so good. Also like how that one dude, that one tech guy is still here. There's like two unique NPCs. The sergeant sergeant guy and tech man wearing his little vest. Oh. Trying to follow me? <sighs> Did a nuke go off here? Looks more like a quarry. Looks like they were excavating something. Maximum goop. Nice. Take care of it. Yeah, I'm just playing on normal. I tried playing on hard, and I just got wiped on the first level, so I was like, eh. I don't need to stress this just yet. Oh no! That's a cool, that's a cool level, pe level moment, like set piece moment. Being at the bottom of this crater and seeing all the ants crest over the side like that. Ants in my EDF? Wow, well, main cannon's empty. There's still so many! I'm gonna have to run out of ammo. Okay, that's it. Ah! Ah! You're trying to chop me! It just foomps and becomes a... That's awesome. You don't have to wait for a helicopter to bring it in anymore. Oh no, I'm getting chopped! Oh, 
Get a little drone too? They give Air Raider a ton of toys. Oh, Loofbox. Hey, thanks for gifting a sub. Oh, Air Raider can't. Air Raider can't, uh. sprint. What's the button? There it is. Try it. Yeah, side rolls is all you get. Oh. Oh. Oh, just at the end there. When's a big kaiju fight? Good question. I don't know. Is the vehicle? I wonder why that's red. The tank's still a thing? Guy with the armor who can hardly walk. Yes, the fencer. This guy. Which I would play as, except I'm not confident in my ability to like pick the right shield that has the burst that lets you do the slide canceling. I'm gonna go back to boring old ranger for now. Yeah, I'll try out this grenade launcher. This grenade. Since the Earth is in shambles, some vehicles and support is unavailable, maybe. Hmm. Oh, maybe? Yeah, could be. I'm like, I got a random unlock before they want me to have access to something like that. Ooh. Oh, Kester, this is on PS4 and PS5 for now. And only in Japan. Only Japanese region. Oh yeah, that, that's what occurred to me as well. Is that I think I also want to play Breath of the Wild. I think I want to see if I can beat that, that first uh, Guardian Temple. We'll see. Is the grenade line customizable at all? I have no idea. No clue. Oh, you can stick it on him and it just blows off the part it gets stuck to? Oh, that's so cool. Look at that damage ticking up down there. Ugh. Never been more convinced that I'm doing big time war crimes. <laughs> Get melted, kid. Yeah. Jeez. Oops. <laughs> Just explode. It's horrifically inhumane what I'm doing. And again, so is invading Earth, so screw these frogs. Something I never wanted to say. Ugh. Can't believe they made me do this. The fact that it sticks to enemies makes it OP, yeah. So good. I mean, it doesn't do just like OP amounts of damage, but... Yeah, I guess you could probably fire off a couple and then switch to another gun. 
Yeah, that's right, that guy. These are our guts now. You bring these guts to Earth, they're our guts. I'm taking these guts. Ugh. More frogs. F these frogs. So surprised. The sound is so ridiculous. Oh, it's like on his armor, so it's not hurting him. That sound, man. It sounds like it sounds like somebody getting stuck in the floor in Gmod. Oh. already pissed off God, I guess. It's like, I'm done fucking around. Oh shit. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, dude. That looks really mad. That looks like the kind of thing that just make your skin fall off. You don't get a day off just because there's a new god in town, frogs. Jesus. This soundtrack is going so bananas, too. I can't get over how... How much more interesting the music is now. Whoa, hold on. We don't know that they're aliens. Let's not go crazy. I see some stuff showing up on the map. Hmm. More frogs, huh? Yeah, it's just gonna stand there. Mm. Just sitting there watching. Oh, it's 4 a.m. All right, Zidonia. See you later. Uh, depending on how long you sleep, I might be, be streaming when you get up. I got a nice long day of streaming ahead of me. Show me what you got. Well, I gotta do what the god says. up with my homies. 
it sounds like they're just calling them aliens. Yeah. Are we doing that? Are we finally settling on alien? After five invasions or whatever? Okay, fine, they're aliens. Yeah, they look like us. <laughs> they look just like people. Two arms, two legs, it's nearly the same! Are they trying to copy us? I miss with every single grenade. That's a different kind of impressive. There we go. Now we got a frog roast. Oh shit. Oh shit. What the fuck? Those little jellyfishes now? Uh oh. Oh. Damn, I don't want these. Oh, no. <laughs> you got to you got to give it a rest, man. There's weird stuff going on. They're flying towards the, the ring. Gosh, I'm getting shot a lot. I might die. Oh! Is it opening a portal? Oh. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't tell if it's helping or not. Maybe? Oops. Oh, the sky is all pink now. Mm, did we get teleported? Different mission clear song. Hmm. Hmm. We're now in the nether dimension? Like the menu changed. We're in the dark realm.
I gotta take the I gotta take the commando rocket launcher. I can't not take that. Look at how cool that is. Yeah, it's very ominous tone here. New item too. What's this called? Special projectile, thermite bullet. Hmm. Probably teleporting the frog planet through that portal. Oh, we might be in the frog planet now? Yeah, maybe. Anything's possible. Called Pepe Land? Peponia? What? Are they terraforming Earth now? Oh my gosh. It's funny because I was so I was commenting about how things seemed a little more desaturated. It's because of this. If the if the sky is eventually going to turn like beet red and purple, then yeah, then the buildings kind of need to like have relief against that. Oh my gosh. Or have contrast. That's the word I'm looking for. That kind of plays off the fact that the buildings are a little more complicated, destructed objects now. You can see the the bright red sky poking through the little holes in the building and stuff. <laughs> Music is so ominous. Again, I can't, I can't. I think they really did make the most gains with the music. Oh! Little dome-headed dudes! Walking around with their little zippy zap heads. Oh! Okay, that one's, that one's, that one's flipping out a little bit. They got little noodle legs? Like little War of the Worlds guys? Oh, so cool! Wow, he's really losing it. They fall over really easily. Oh, they got little brains! Or big brains, really. Whoa! So colorful. It's like a black light now. Oh, shit. <gasps> they got little gla grabby claws! Oh no, I'm glad they put those little speed lines around them. They make them easier to see when they're incoming. Have, like little mechanized voices. Oh! Okay, I wonder if picking up health heals everybody else. It does, a little bit. Okay. 
I liked it when they, they made that change. I think that means there's a reason to pick up health even if you're at full health. This is the NPC still do some work. Honestly, two hands, two feet? They look just like us! Yeah. Are these clones? We've decided to call them people. Due to their <laughs> due to their striking similarity to the human form. This is so cool looking. Oh yeah, the Mars people from Metal Slug. Is that their name? I always played Metal Slug enough to like identify the Martians and stuff as returning characters, but never learned much of the lore or the names of anything. How about Metal Slug Tactics? Metal Slug, a live franchise. How about that? I was I thought that was super cool. Metal Slug always had a really cool art style. Nazca. Makers of fine games like Metal Slug and Neo Turf Masters. Just like pinnacle pixel art games. Is that Advance Wars game ever coming out? Oh yeah. The one that was like did for like five minutes or something like that? Or they uh they delayed it because it leaked, I think. I don't remember what the story was with that. Oh yeah, delayed because of the ro the Russian war, that's right. Because I guess releasing a war game would be a bad call. Yeah, I saw that. You can deflect the claws when they're coming in if you shoot them. Mantling over stuff is really nice. It does kind of minimize the aspect of situational awareness, but I think there's just more clutter on the ground, so it kind of balances each other out. So good. That like red and purple sky with a big green brain. Alien with just noodle arms and big pincher claws. That's pretty classic. I'm surprised the theremin isn't showing up in this part of the, this part of the game. This is pretty prime invaders from outer space music. Yeah, I wondered why they were having us go up that ramp again, but the reveal of the sky was pretty good. Oh, I got more of them. Oh, it's like the end of Half-Life 1? Zen? Yeah? Oh man, look at them all. Get off my earth. 
human race is the only race that gets to exploit this planet of all its natural resources. Kind of surprised they don't grab you and like sling you around. That would probably be a little much. They just bonk you with their little claws. I think I threw fire grenades at my own squad. Oh well, that's gonna happen. Good lord. Are you gonna play EDF with Bruce Jacob Omar again? Uh, when this game comes out, whenever that is. Doesn't have a release date in the United States yet. That will certainly be the time. Oh my god. Oh, they got me. Overran, bonked to death. Yeah, I got brained. Got brain clawed. Wondering what, hmm. Need some fire stuck to them, IMO? That actually might help, given how much they wobble around. Yeah, the fire grenades can really, you know, pun intended, burn through them quickly. I just need to be. Whoa! Need to use them more often and in better situations. Climbing up there. Gross. It does also feel like the difficulty curve has ramped up more deliberately and more normally. It also feels like normal is also maybe not a challenge just yet, but I'm dying. That other level is pretty close too.
the OG vampire survivor? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. You have loadouts in this, but I guess you do in the Empire Survivor too. I'm wondering if it's any more weapon grind. Could be that. Yeah. And just like having a better fix on what even weapons I have. I'm just having to rely on Google Translate and uh, trial and error. Oh no, Luf. Doggo fell down the stairs. Glad to hear she's okay. I love that dogs bounce back from things pretty quickly. Do you get weapons for every class? Yes, you do. Uh, but it it seems to lean towards the one that you currently have. But you get some weapons from other classes, yeah. So you're not just stuck if you want to swap. I'm pretty sure EDF5 worked that way too. Kindred Hunter. Oh, thank you for the year's worth of subs there. Hope I've been doing well. I've been doing very well. I'm doing extra well today because I'm playing a new EDF. And I think I'm going to swap to uh, Breath of the Wild later. Pick up my Master Mode playthrough. Once I get Revali's Gale, it's on. It's on. It's, it's on and it's off. It's off because it's on. But mostly at that point, the game's just fixed. Oh, wow. Hit the grenade with a claw in the air. Oh boy, that didn't work out right at all. Okay, so you have to use all of them for it to... Oh, okay. Use all of them, they respawn. Yeah, pulling them through a choke point seems really effective from a flame grenade standpoint. Wild, wild it'll get? Yeah, me too. Me too. I remember being initially unimpressed with EDF-5's escalation and scale, but it it very much satisfied me before the end of the game, so I think I, uh, I'm excited to see what this game has to offer. And then, yeah, who knows how many missions it has. Yeah, the sprint is nice. You can actually go over uneven terrain now. Oh, geez. Okay. If they all come down this highway. That'd be good. I'd like that.
Dear. Yeah, it's getting pretty close. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, damn. Ugh! Okay. God. Train is so uneven. Makes it actually a lot dip more difficult to just back up and shoot. Oh my god! It actually grabbed my grenade out of the air. Still so many of them. Oh my god. Okay, finally getting rounded up a little bit. Seems to be largely under control. for the time-honored tradition. Leaving one enemy alive so I can s stroll around and grab everything. <laughs> hey, Mr. Terrific. Yeah, welcome. This game is pretty ridiculous. Yeah, unfortunately, it's only out in Japan right now. But, uh, it will come out in western regions eventually. I will be there when it does. Well, maybe I didn't leave behind as many items as I thought. Feels super zoomed in on your guy. Yeah, it zooms in a bit when I do the do the run. So there's that. That's the normal normal camera. But I still typically play with, like, pretty high FOV on most, most games. But this is a console game. Is it super goofy again? Uh, it's hard to tell, because I, I don't understand most of the dialogue. It seems like it has largely the same tone as EDF-5. Maybe even a bit more self-serious. The music certainly sounds that way. Are you able to revive your soldiers? I don't think so. But I think they wake up between waves of enemies. So if I shoot this last guy, I'm sure they'll all wake up. Oh, 
Don't believe that up uptime buckfutter. Twitch screwed me. Disconnected me. Reset my uptime. Those bastards. Those bastards. Awesome. I want to play at least a few more levels because I'm really excited to see where this game goes. Yeah. Thank you, Ultimate Zane. Like you, I too remember when the uptime command had value. People respected it. Ooh. Is that a sniper rifle? I'm gonna go with the tried and true here. I'm curious how snipers will handle these, uh... These big brain guys. Oops! Sorry about that, fellas. Don't walk into that. Okay, well, they walked into it. The good news is everything's fine. That's the good news. Great. Androido. Okay, so these are androids. Honestly, cannot wait to play the game with cheesy American voice acting. I agree, yeah. The the voice acting for EDF has always been pretty good. Which is to say it kind of like somehow manages to grab the tone. Very sincere, over-emotional, and borderline melodramatic delivery. Yeah, it's great. Sweet pants, these bugs are not ticking anything. They're ticking seconds by until I shoot them in the face kick them off my planet they still have the chance yes Uh, a little thingy. EDF is very Starship Troopers. It kind of is, yeah. 
Some of the games lean a lot more into the satire. Iron Rain probably the most of all. I'm playing solo or with a group? I'm just playing by myself. I didn't... I didn't try with any sincerity to convince uh, people to buy the Japanese version of the game. Just to play it for a little bit. Although it's similar enough to EDF5 that it would probably be fine. But also P PlayStation locked, so I'm gonna wait until it comes out on PC officially in the US to try to get folks to play it. Look at all this lore I'm missing right now. Who knows what they're saying? Could be anything. Probably the most important, I bet. I wonder if these are like the replacement slash upgrades for the Hectors. I hope not, because I always did like those enemies, but these do kind of seem somewhat similar. It's supposed to be like a sniper shotgun, I guess? It does shoot multiple bullets at once, so yeah. That's just how I'm choosing to use it. And it's working, so... No complaints. Maybe they're baby Hectors? Well, those existed in EDF as well. They were like tiny little Hectors, which are kind of similar to these guys, yeah. So maybe this is the EDF 6 version of that enemy. Yeah, I hope Hectors are still in it too. I really like them with their big old wobbly arms. They're just a good enemy type too. They fill out the game well. Oh, wow. Got over that whole fence? This is the future. I could have just shot it. That's real gaming. That's real freedom in gaming. Climb over the fence or just shoot the shit out of it. Oh, crash poke. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. That's awfully gen generous of you, Crash. I appreciate that. After being banned for an hour, no less. You know, you're only encouraging me to lash out against chat more often. Back on my grind, a VIP or ban? The grind is the, grind is the whole purpose. Thing. It's important to savor the journey and not the fact that I banned you for an hour. But yeah, best of luck next time. Oh, hey, Pop-Tart. Ear is still killing you? Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. It's making you nauseous. Ugh. That's the worst when, like, one symptom is so bad it starts to kind of cross over and create other ones. Especially when it's pain related. Ah. I'm so sorry. Awfully genocidal. Frequently accuse my top donators of being genocidal. Oh, 
Oh man, these tough army dudes. Well, thank you, Crash Poke. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, the ballistic force of an army man roll. It's enough to send a rail, a railing into space. EDF has incredible power. Last I saw the doctor, they said your ear can make a person nauseous if the fluid in your ear is imbalanced. Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why you get dizzy, right? Fluid in, fluid in your ear is all sloshing around. You probably don't want to hear about that, though. Yeah. Ear crystals. That, that's what'll fix this problem. Slosh is a good word. I agree. It describes perfectly what it does. Oh, they... No, really? They are crystals? Really? I have ear crystals? Sounds like a goop product. You must harness your air crystal. Hold on, warrior. I'm going to teach you crystal magic. Ear crystal. If you attune your ear crystal, you can channel ear energy. Maybe that's what's happening when the Hollow Life decoy sings J-pop songs and stuff. She's infusing all the soldiers at your crystals with combat energy. Charging up those ear crystals. GDF is this? This is six. Came out a month ago in Japan. And since my uncle works for Japan, I got a copy. Isn't that how Macross works? I guess so. I don't remember there ever being like an official explanation. But yeah. Macross is certainly a thought that I had. I thought all my boys were cheering. The little blow up doll was making cute little cute little anime girl noises. All the dudes were like, Yes! <laughs> ah! 
Yeah, and they didn't burn her clothes off. Yeah. Have you watched any of the show Resident Alien yet? I'm not even familiar with this show. Oh wait, now you told me about it, right? I feel like somebody's told me about it. It feels familiar, it sounds familiar. Anybody playing Judgment or Lost Judgment now that it came to PC? I'm saving it. I think I'm going to make like a week in in the holiday season dedicated to just playing through Yakuza. I don't know why Yakuza feels like a holiday game to me. It feels like the game that you would want to save for your holiday break, I guess. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, not on Steam, Stir Lance, not yet. Not out in the U.S. Because they all take place near the holidays in Japan? So I thought so. I'd always form that kind of association. I, I kind of feel the same way about Shenmue too, but that's because, well, Shenmue, colon, or sorry, comma, as well, in addition to. Because uh, I played it during a holiday break, but it also you play it during the winter. It's got a lot of drama and heartwarming stories. Yeah, yes. Every side quest in Yakuza is kind of like the holiday special of a normal show. Where, like, somebody's down on their luck, but through perseverance and, like, the desire to stick it through and relying on your friends and, like, all these really basic, heartwarming kinds of I of ideas. Everyone gets through their problems. Yeah! Hell yeah. Any idea if we're getting more Doom Novel during the spooky month? Probably. Probably. I just need to find a good weekend. I don't have anything going on. Ironically, it was this weekend. I had some things fall through that I was planning on doing, but... Yeah, uh, or maybe I... Maybe I need to look at some big releases and pick one to do a, a subathon around. Okay. I'm gonna do one more level. And then maybe switch it up to Zelda. See if I can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this, uh... Ooh, that looks cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this, uh, this dungeon without, like... Because I just kind of walked straight there. Maybe I need to walk around and do some more shrines, but... Ooh. There's an ex insane mod expansion beyond Skyrim. Yeah, that's finally coming out, right? That's been in development for a ton and ton of... Ton of time? Ton of time. Taking the rocket launcher. How was EDF six? Does it add anything new? Yeah. Uh, there's some some quality of life stuff. There's mantling. Like my character will now automatically step up onto small ledges and stuff, which is kind of nice when you're running around. Oh, new enemy type. Oh, what is that? Oh no, it's just a it's just a brain thing. Is it? So yeah, there's new enemies uh, so far, and I'm only on mission 12. Yeah, this is new. It's a bigger brain. Okay, so they have zappy hands. He's like, don't worry. We all fall down sometimes. Jeez. Looks like Earth has fallen. Yeah. Yeah, this takes place after EDF5. One of the few stats that I could I could make out via the Google, the Translate app on my phone was that humanity is at 10% of its population. It's been wiped out. And the aliens are still coming. Seems like. Uh, Jacaeli. I will definitely be playing this game co op with people once it officially comes out in the US, but don't know when that is just yet. Unfortunately. Wait, did that remove the rocket? Ooh, 
Ooh, it's got cool little laser sounds. Oh, it tracks. sound of that laser is so cool. Oh! Yeah, these are definitely the Hectors. The zippy zap sounds of those guns are, or those hand cannons are so neat. Oh, the UFOs are back. Yeah, of course they are. Drop ships. Oh yeah, there's this big ring. There's Halo ring. They added EDF, or the sorry, they added E. Ugh. They added Halo to EDF. There we go. There's one thing I've said about any video game: it's that the more like Halo it is, the better. So we finally did it. Finally. Oh jeez. Yeah, the big ring appears to be a portal. Some kind of Stargate. Oh yeah, if Halo had a fishing minigame, it'd be over. But Halo doesn't have a fishing minigame because Halo's not, not a good video game. It's the only thing missing though. Everything else is pitch perfect. Yeah, homing missile launcher from Halo. I'm just glad EDF decided to give up on trying to be any video game, any other video game. It's just like, no, let's just be Halo. Good. Good. My gosh. You wish you were sitting in the Law Dog, Law Dog VIP hot tub right now? Yeah, it's a shame you're not. It's free martini Sundays. gotten past the ants and insects i don't know maybe for the time being yeah they seem pretty cool making me fight a ton of these guys i do like that this game has little dis destructible chunks all over the enemies like the armor chunks that break off revealing the brain and stuff like that Makes the enemy super fun to shoot. Oh! Man, the sound effects and, and the music have just gotten so, so much better. 
I think audio might be the, the like, biggest improvement. Most noticeable. The Zippy Zap sounds so good! Ah, oh, a lot to take in, though. Yeah, very 50 sci-fi. There were tiny elements of that showing up in EDF. I'm glad that they're uh, drawing more from it because because it just fits the game so well. Oh! Ah! Let me up. Fresh one. Whew. Okay. There's one more over here. How's FPS been holding up this release? It's better, but there's still times that it's dipped. It's not as grating as like playing EDF 5 on PS4 was. So it's still quite a bit smoother than that. It's playable so far. Uh, yeah, there's already been some instances of the crowds getting a little intense and the frame rate dipping though. But I would say it hasn't gone below 30. Maybe, well, maybe in the mid 20s a couple times. I would say, I would say by and large the like the frame rate is a lot higher and a lot more stable, but it's still not just 60 all the time. Even on PS5. But, you know, it's EDF. The only time it's ever been, like, rock solid and awesome was on PC. Beautiful. Okay, I just want to see the beginning of the next level. Just to see. Maybe there's something exciting there. Maybe. We got a new rocket launcher? No, not a new rocket launcher. No, okay. All right, I'm just gonna see. Look at that, they're pointing up. Look at all these little crosses in here. This has to be important. This has to be. Look at how cinematic this is. Prima? Are these what the drones are? It's like flying jacks? Oh, they're opening up. I bet you have to shoot him in the... In the belly button. Yeah, the little fidget spinners. Mm. Ringu. I want to see these guys fly around. I want to see what their little zip zap lasers are are like. Um, oh, Toasty, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, you can... Wait, what is it doing? Oh, it's spawning in ants, and they're just, like, dropping or something? I I am definitely gonna play this with other people eventually, but this is still the, uh, the Japanese release. It's not the easiest to get. I had to jump through some hoops to download it. 
Plus, I can't expect anyone else to uh, endure an EDF experience without understanding all the lore. It's giving me a quite. It's giving me something of a headache right now. But I'm surviving. I'm enduring. Oh man, look at how gross that looks. That's so good. All right, now they're all mad. Okay. They're big and they blow up really easily. Oh, they turn into starfish and shoot lasers at you. Sick. Scientist Egghead is still talking. Oh, he's saying to attack the center of the stars. I'm going to guess instead of like, it doesn't seem like there's any really conversation with base all that much. I guess they just put you with these two NPCs so they can do all the chatter. sit there and play that forever and I will uh hey Alder yeah the, the aliens are really cool in this I really like the new design so far there's just like more animation uh more movement so cool all right I'm gonna move over to a uh, breath of the wild I have a master mode run going on that and I'm running that on PC so that's always a treat to see breath of the wild and just like buttery smooth frame rate and high resolution it won't obviously come through as crisp through Twitch, unfortunately, but uh, Breath of the Wild is always really cozy to have around. That's that's how it feels to me. So, and plus, here's one thing I've learned about it: Breath of the Wild is so like complicated of a game that everyone kind of has a different tip and like fun little interaction. So I end up learning a lot about it when I stream it. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. I'm just gonna get up and stretch. I'll be right back. See you soon. Oh. 